excited for today's lesson where we are going to be learning about the fruits of the spirit. Today we are learning about gentleness and self-control and we all know that God can help us to get these fruits of spirit inside our lives. So today let's praise him for his faithfulness. Woo!
story for today. Yes, 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 boys and girls, we are learning about the fruit of the Spirit. The Bible says to us, if we sow apple seeds, then we will grow apples. So, boys and girls, if we grow orange seeds, then we will also harvest orange fruit. Now, boys and girls, if we want love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, to be blessings in our lives, then we need to give those seeds out into the people's lives that we come into contact with. Well, today we are learning about God's goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and how we can have self-control. So, today's B-I-B-L-E story is how we are going to learn about God's faithfulness. Let's listen to Bible story. February 11th, Moses is born. Pharaoh was making life miserable for the Israelites, but no matter how miserable life was, the Israelites still got married and had children. A man and woman from the tribe of Levi got married and began to have a family. In time, a baby boy was born. Pharaoh had commanded that all Israelite baby boys should be thrown into the Nile River, but the Egyptians missed this baby boy. For three months, the mother hid him in her home. The baby's mother was worried. How could she keep hiding this little boy? Surely some soldiers would find him. Then they would throw him into the Nile River. She must do something. So one day the mother made a little basket from the grass that grew by the river. She covered it with tar so it would float. Then she hid it among the tall blades of grass along the side of the Nile River. The baby's older sister, Miriam, hid nearby to watch. That day a princess, a daughter of the cruel pharaoh, came down to the river to wash herself. The princess saw the little boat and told a helper to bring it to her. When she opened the basket, there was a baby boy. He was crying. Her heart was touched. This must be an Israelite baby, she said. Miriam ran to the princess. Shall I find an Israelite woman to take care of him for you, she asked. Yes, said the princess. So Miriam rushed home for her mother. Take care of this child for me, said the princess. I will pay you. So the baby's mother took him home. She was paid to take care of her own baby. When the baby was older, his mother brought him to the princess. The princess claimed him as her own son. She named the boy Moses, which sounded like the Hebrew word that meant to take out, for she had taken him out of the water. Wow, boys and girls, what a heartwarming story to see how God was faithful in protecting baby Moses. Yes, faithfulness is a fruit of the Spirit. So let's see who's been learning their fruit of the Spirit. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace and long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. What time, what time, what time is it? Five, six, seven, eight. It's time to cut and paste. So you better not be late for exciting works of art and creative kingdom craft. Welcome, King's Kids. It's me, Teacher Tant, and I'm so happy that you are joining me today for another arts and craft. We have learned about love, joy, peace, patience, and kindness, and goodness. Those are the fruits of the Spirit. But today, we are also learning about gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. So I've decided to make a 3D Apple of Faithfulness card so we can learn to be faithful with our word as God was faithful with His word by protecting baby Moses. Let's get started. You are going to need Okay, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my yellow paper and I am going to fold it into two halves Okay, and then you are going to fold it again to another half. 
So you're gonna make a half of that half. And then, I'm, take, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm gonna cut my paper right in the middle. Right? So now, I'm using the other half like that. Then I'm gonna fold it once again to make an even smaller half of the paper. Okay, and then I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to draw half an apple on my piece of paper. Okay, make sure it's nice and big. Okay, then I'm going to cut it out okay so because I folded it it gave me two cutouts of my apple so I've got those I'm gonna place them on the side and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my purple um, paper and I'm gonna fold it into two like I did my first one okay making sure the edges are lining up and then I'm going to grab my glue and I'm gonna spread it on the edges of my paper because I want to make the background of my card so this is going to be where my apple is going to be placed and then I'm going to take my two sides or my two cutouts and if I put them together like that you can see that it makes the same shape that I cut out so I'm going to stick it right in the middle of my paper like that and then I'm going to stick my second one right next to it like I showed you guys. I'm gonna put some glue and then I'm gonna place it. Oops. Down so that it gives a 3D effect. Okay, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my white piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half. This time around, we are making the inside or the flesh of the apple. The part that is juicy on the inside of our apple. And then I'm going to grab my marker and I am going to draw the half of it that's gonna go on the inside of our apple like that or should I make it a bit bigger make it a bit bigger like that. okay I'm gonna cut it out cutting on the outside of my marker so that it doesn't show when I stick it onto my apple. Carry on cutting. I think I like the size of that one. And it's going to go inside my apple just like that. So I'm going to stick it with some glue on it. And then I am going to press it down right in the middle of my apple, just like that. Okay, and there we go. So the next thing that you want to do is you're going to grab your marker and you're going to start putting seeds or drawing seeds onto our apple. 
because remember it is cut out so this is the insides you can grab your marker and if you know what an apple seed looks like it's one and draw right there and three and four right there just like that and then now we're going to make our stem so we got our crayons right here and if you do have a brown paper boys and girls you can just use that and cut it out but I don't so I'm just gonna take my brown crayon and I'm just gonna draw a stem and I'm going to cut it out just like that draw a stem and then cut it out so you can paste it on top of your apple because no apple is complete without a stem got it out next thing I'm gonna take my glue and I'm going to stick it down just like that slant it here we go and then boys and girls we are not done yet King's Kids we're gonna take our green piece of paper and we're gonna cut out a leaf okay Let's fold it in half whichever way that you like and cut out a leaf shape so I'm gonna do it like that and I'm gonna go around like that and here we go open it up it looks like a leaf then I'm gonna stick it onto my apple stem so grab your glue and then just don't put it all the way just put it on the edge a little bit there just a little bit a tiny piece there and then place it onto your stem like that okay make sure it's still folding inwards Okay. okay so now our apple is complete just like that and if you want if you want your apple to remind you of the of faithfulness that fruit of the spirit you can turn it over and you just label it and just write faithfulness Just like that so every time I look at it I'm reminded of the fruit of the spirit of faithfulness I hope that you enjoyed making this arts and craft with me boys and girls I will see you next time on another arts and craft with me teacher Tant. bye what time, what time, what time is it? 9, 10, 11, 12. Arise and shine. It's Kingdom Outreach time. Wow, I've enjoyed today, boys and girls, and I know you have too, because we have learned all nine fruits of the Spirit. I'm gonna need the fruit of self-control with all the Christmas chocolates on the way. Speaking of Christmas, let's take a look at our past King's Kids Christmas items. Can you see it? Everybody's got hope in their eyes. Got hope in their eyes. Can you hear it?
thank you boys and girls for learning your fruits of the spirit. Now, 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 I know that it's time to say goodbye, but I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm going to say see you next week at 3 p.m. here on King's Kids Online. Don't forget to send us your videos on how you are learning your fruits of the spirit. So until next time, boys and girls, God bless you and bye-bye. I'm a king's kid Jesus